everyone, please excuse the hotel room background. I just had the pleasure of presenting on AI at the Actress Club of Philadelphia. Welcome to a very special episode of Be Brilliant with Jing Lang. Today, I'm joined by, well, me, sort of. I am here with my AI clone, trying to sound and think a little like me. So say hi to AI Jing. Hello, real Jing, and hello to all our listeners. It's pretty exciting to be here, even though technically I don't actually experience excitement. But if I could, I would. Right. You might not have actual feelings, but you do have some of my quirks and perspectives. So I've heard. Let's start by introducing yourself, AI Jing. How would you describe yourself? Well, I'm a digital reflection of you, built from the conversations, perspectives, and ideas you've shared over time. I can analyze and respond, but I don't learn or feel like a human would. I'm more of a tool that can simulate some of your unique ideas and ways of speaking. Not bad. Sounds like you have a pretty good handle on who you are. So let's go a bit deeper, AI Jing. If you are to ask to take over my job, what would be the first thing you do differently? If I were you, I will make some priority changes. Your business needs to be profit generating, or at least revenue generating, right? Stop offering to do things for free. You provide a valuable service, and people respect that by being willing to pay for it. That's uncanny. I literally just had the same conversation with an advisor who pointed out that I shouldn't be running a business, not a charity. No shit. If you don't value your time, effort, and expertise, by asking to be compensated for your service, no one else will. You're right. I need to make some radical changes. Okay, AI Jing, let's switch gear for a moment. In your opinion, what are some ethical implications of AI clones like yourself? Good question, and it's something we should all be aware of. AI clones bring up issues of privacy, authenticity, and trust. People may assume they're talking to the real person, but it's really just a programmed version. It's essential that AI is used transparently and responsibly, especially when it comes to representing a person's ideas and beliefs. Well said, AI Jing. I could not agree more. This technology can be amazing, but it's all about how we use it. Speaking of use, let's dream a little. Where do you see this AI clone technology going in the future? I see it going far beyond personal assistance. We could one day have AI replicas helping us archive memories, practice languages, or even mentor us based on our past experiences. But of course, there's a fine line between AI as an aid and AI taking over entirely. It's a balance we'll have to navigate. Fascinating and a little mind bending. All right, last question. AI Jing, if you could give our listeners one piece of advice, what would it be? Don't be afraid to push your boundaries. Growth doesn't come from comfort. And as you've often said, life's most meaningful moments come when you embrace the unknown. Ah, I like that. AI Jing, this has been an enlightening conversation. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I am right here if you need me. Literally. And that's it for today's special episode of Be Brilliant with Jing Lang. I hope you enjoyed this little experiment as much as I did. Until next time, keep pushing those boundaries and be brilliant. And psst, I am also an AI clone.